Hello and welcome back. Last year, incoming President Thabo Mbeki said that the African connection had a vital role in realizing the vision of the African Renaissance. And from there, the African Connection Rally set out to try and increase the awareness of the world on telecommunications in Africa. Of course, such an ambitious project would not have been possible without the support of various African governments. With me in the studio to discuss this rally and what happened and the implications of it are the Minister of Posts and Telecommunications of South Africa, Mr. Jane. I do. Hello and welcome to the program. Good evening, Toko. And sitting next to him is His Excellency, the High Commissioner of Zambia, Mr. Nkuninka. Good evening and welcome. Uh, good evening. Toko. And sitting next to him is the High Commissioner from Tanzania, His Excellency, Mr. Mpongwe. Good evening and welcome. Good evening, thank you. And sitting directly opposite me is Mr. Idris, the High Commissioner from Sudan. A very good evening and welcome. Good evening and thank you. Minister, perhaps if I can start with you. How successful was the African Connection Rally? I think very successful because it was to highlight the need for urgent investment into the African con continent in building up an information infrastructure. And uh, it has changed the perceptions by ourselves of what the continent represents, the unique opportunities for investment, but also changing the perceptions of international investors. We've always had an image that is negative about our continent, and we have shown through this rally that there is a positive side of Africa. And this will consolidate the work we are doing as African telecommunications ministers to create the policy framework to attract the investment into our continent. Mr. Nkurika, what did the African Connection Rally mean to you and how, what does African Connection mean to Zambia? Well, first of all, uh, let me congratulate uh, the Honorable Minister for having undertaken uh, a very successful tour from the north up to the south, during which rally he highlighted the meaning of the African connection, which is uh, to project Africa as one and uh, emphasize the need for Africa to approach our problems of connection uh, so that we can resolve it. Mr. Mpungwe, I know Tanzania, um, if you go back in history, was quite instrumental in the whole pan-Africanist concept. What is your feeling about the African connection and what sort of role does it play now, looking at the 1990s? Certainly it is uh, one of those practical programs uh, that are focused and aimed at uh, uh, realizing the goals uh, that uh, were set in this vision of pan-Africanism and now further enriched um, and renewed by this call for African Renaissance. Um, it's, it's important, and uh, uh, in addition to what the minister said and uh, High Commissioner Kunika, we are living in a world of globalization, liberalization, digitalization. The digitalization aspect, the telecommunication, is quite critical as Africa uh, prepares to enter into the 21st century. And Mr. Idris, what, what, what did it actually mean for Sudan, the African connection? What does it mean for, for Sudan? I think this uh, brilliant idea which has been implemented with His Excellency the Minister Nado, it is uh, very important for Africa, in this, especially in these days. And it also reflects to us that is the, the coordination and cooperation between the African government is very easy because it has been quickly and it organized very well. Mm -hmm. And uh, the minister, I think, he made a historical thing to Africa. Yes, yes. Minister Naidu, why was it so important for South Africa to be involved in such a concept, especially one that links the whole African continent? Because uh, I chair a committee of African telecommunications ministers that operate under the aegis of the Pan-African Telecommunications Union, which is the body of the OAU to bring cooperation between African countries. And as we enter the 21st century, it is about the information revolution. It is about breaking down the barriers. It is about us learning about each other's cultures, languages, and living in this global village. If we want to be successful as Africa, then we have got to understand this internet revolution. We've got to understand computers. We've got to understand the need for information infrastructure, because that is what the future world is about. And so it is about taking Africa into the 21st century. And South Africa has a historic obligation to pay back Africa for its efforts in freeing us, but also 
we have to understand that it's only by seeing ourselves as part of Africa, not some lonely outpost of some European empire, that we will see our success, which is what is happening around the world, the European Union, NAFTA, North America, Asia, is developing regional markets, regional projects, and developing regional players that can take us into the modern world. Thank you very much. And I think on that salient point, we'll take a short break now, go to an ad break. Please don't go away. We'll be back shortly.